Moll said, never abandon your post, so I'm going to keep going. What do you need? Pleasure. Yes? I'm sure you would. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. You Graven Guard's still alive. You better. Jahira wants to know about supplies. Will we make it home? Burning through our oil, but so just about do. Just about? Just about. We shouldn't hang around. See if there's anything you need. We don't know when the next blow might land. Take care now. The absolute war drums beat loud in your chest. How may I serve? Slaughter. Ever at your service. An honor. We need to check those crates. Be nice to know what we're shipping. Erna, remind your sister why I came. This is the spot that's marked on that map.
quiet, lest I miss its cries for mercy. Get on with it. The faintest sensation of approval quickens your heart, a hard-won blessing from your mistress. A very gory idea of art. inside.
Uhr. What can silence the night song? Nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. What's in here? Can't afford to stay idle. This has to be it. This has to be the Spear of Night. The weapon Lady Shah bid me to wield. It seems like Kazador used Astarian's flesh not as a canvas. But as a contract, we haven't heard the last of this, I'll wager. May the darkness protect you. <laughs> Wish I could say I was surprised about Cazador's pact. Where blood, death and betrayal parade, you can bet your ass a devil is riding Grand Marshal. We're going to keep Astarian safe. On my life, Kazador won't touch him. I can't imagine how Astarian must be feeling. The terms of your own condemnation carved into your skin. A monster's actions. And monsters do not deserve such power as that ritual promised. When the time comes, Astarian will have his revenge, I'm sure. And it will be richly deserved. But not yet. So, what can I do for you?
must be where initiates undertook their final preparations. The end is near. Deliver the Night Mother's mercy upon her enemies. Trust your secrets to the night. Shroud yourself in blackest night. May the darkness protect you. I wonder what the next move is. This must be the last step. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. All right. No need to dash in ahead of me. I'm ready. Nothing. Just a show of respect. Trust me. You wouldn't want to displease her. Not here. Let's continue. No one back home will ever believe this. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. This is her domain. This is the Shadow Fell. I feel lighter. Unburdened. As if the softest push could send me drifting away. Our conversation, please do find somewhere else. Let's chat later. Got to keep my wits about me. Not a good time.
Not now, Shadow Fellow. I have felt you coming. The first in a century. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal, let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until of course your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god! Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. If I just did them, Lady Shah will disown me. What will happen to me? Not what will happen. What will you do? Your past is not yet lost. Your future is not yet fixed. Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite shown. 
and I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. the Moon Maiden Saloon, mother of the so-called Night Song. The Night Song is no more! given me a great gift, little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a staring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said. Thus will it be so. Are you ready? Oh, and it shall be yours. And then? We're going to kill Ketherick Thorn. to be here, not after what we did. That's what frightens me. She must be angry. Yet, I don't feel it. Or hear it. There's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there, and see what she's unleashed against Ketherick Thorne. Heavens upon him now, and no hope of resurrection. Does this Asimar promise to reveal, I wonder? Whatever they are, Shadowheart will pay dearly for them. 
Shah will make sure of it. Catherick's waiting for us. Can only imagine the beating that angel is preparing for him. Thanks to Shadowheart's good sense, we've got a chance at beating him. Soldier. I... I defied Lady Shah. She won't stand for this. We can talk later. I need to get out of here first. Shadowheart, what happened? You were missing for a moment. I... I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught. Abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. You're lucky to have such confidence. Me. I think the full price of what I've done has yet to reveal itself. I'm a target to Lady Shah's followers now. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethric Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise. And hope that answers soon follow. Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. That's more true than you may have intended. I'm not sure I'm the same person I was before. The Shadowheart I thought I was would never even dreamed of defying the Lady Shah. I'm a stranger to myself. 
The sooner I speak to Nightsong, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. curse down here. What is this place? Hmm. The Night Singer has turned on you. Surely whatever blessings she offers here are now lost to you. Yet no harm in reading on, surely. Thank <laughs> you. 
with haste. statue offers a the statue offers you nothing but silence whatever happening out there. Who was that streaking across the sky? An immortal. But it couldn't possibly be. Never mind. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have him in a corner. Jahira and every fighting body in this place have gone to Moonrise Towers to face Ketherick down. She's waiting for you there. End this. Now, we're all counting on you. Did you see it? The path of light. That's good, right? Means we might make it out of here alive. Just want to make it to Baldur's Gate. You had something to do with the light, right? I knew it. This is the end for Ketherick. Stuck up while you can. Premium trinkets and doodars. Yes? Now I'm sure you would.
begins right here. I'm glad it was you who walked through. Glad to see you again. I was afraid you'd get swallowed up by the shadows. Instead, you found us some cavalry. Very well done. Whatever that light is, the Harpers and the Flaming Fists can deal with it. We'll follow once it's safe. You're still here. Thought you'd be halfway to Moonrise and leading the Harper's charge on the tower. Go on. The day needs saving. I don't think I've ever seen Harper's move so fast. What in the hells is going down at Moonrise? Half this place cleared out when the sky lit up. I'm staying put until I know what's what. I suggest you do the same. The sky looks so pretty with the light. Whoever it is must be good. They must be. People just ran off and said nothing. Adults always do this. With a flick of the wrist? seeing shadow hearts suffer like this all for doing the right thing it's up to us to look after her now if she needs a rest we carry her if she needs a hand she has ours if she needs ears we've got four between us whatever she needs oh <laughs> yes Thank you. Shadow heart suffers. You might be surprised, but it pains me to see. Now, what would you ask of me? I suppose it was only a matter of time until Shah took vengeance for the Lady of Loss. She does not like losing.
Shah's ire has shaken Shadow Heart. And yet she goes on. There is untold strength there, I feel. Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. So do I, but one duty at a time. Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Ketherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the shadows, became part of the shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thaniel. I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse, I had to lead the survivors to safety. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. You are right, but I must not lose focus until everything has been put right. I've wasted too much time already. Years in which nature has suffered. You wanted something? Shadowheart. The gods are nothing if not vindictive in their vengeance. She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Shah called Shadow Heart nothing. But I know better than that. She is something. She is worthy. She is strong. She is Shadow Heart. Nothing can take the her from her. Not even a goddess. Sorry, but there's no room for me. Ready and willing. The druid Halsin spoke to me while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor, still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being, for the land to heal. Ketherick Thorne must die.
Shah has discarded young Shadowheart like a broken toy. The gods are ever fickle. Your party is full. Did you think I would not notice? A paragon of wisdom. <laughs> 